Um, Deidre, question. Did you see what um, Clarence said about Bishop Morton? What he did make all of us think that what Deidre said on the show is true. You know you can't call me like that because no, no telling what I'll say. That's the good thing. That's why we live. <laughs> <laughs> But I've seen it, man, and I'm very disturbed about all of it. And I don't think the church should be carrying on this way. Mm -hmm. We don't need that. There's so much going on right now, and we just don't need all this extra coming from somebody's pulpit going against another preacher. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you, I tried to tell y'all on the show. I tried to tell Mm y'all. Now everybody's learning what I know. Mm. It's just the, 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 the arrogance is on, it's, a, it's a whole nother level. It's like next level arrogance. When I think it can't go no higher, get no crazier. <laughs> Some kind of way he digs down deep and find a new level of arrogance. Mm. Nobody cares what you did back in the day and what you, nobody cares. You cannot disrespect all preachers that are supporting Kamala Harris and call them pimp preachers and then when they turn around and handle you and Roland Martin deals with you, now you want to curse him. That ain't no curse. That's a whole just just it went nowhere. Mm-hmm. You you can't be a person that can dish it but can't take it. And that's what I see. Mm-hmm. No, you out there just being bold, loud, strong, and wrong at your church because you got your amen corner. And when somebody tells you the truth about you about the situation. Now you want to go deep and spiritual and say you're the prophet. I am the prophet, and I'm going. You're going to die and have a cardio a cardio problem, and you got high blood. That's foolishness, and God has nothing to do with it. Mm. You stop and you talk to Roland Martin like a man, man to man. What you do? Yeah. You don't hide behind your pulpit throwing out curses as if God is going to back that foolishness up. He called you to the table. He said you can Skype me from Africa. Let's talk, brother. Yeah, you calling everybody else pimps? Let's talk about your situation. Mm-hmm. And that's the bottom line. There's anything else is foolery. Okay, yeah. you can't disrespect preachers and disrespect people because they have a a perspective in a certain politics, mm-hmm. and and then turn around and when somebody handles you like Bishop Morton deals with you in a very classy way on his Twitter and say no. Uh, you know, he, you know, Bishop Morton is a classy man. Yeah. And now you want to go and 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 tell us all this whole spiel about how you was connected to uh, 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 full gospel and how you broke away and you didn't need him and you had tens of thousands. Man, that's, that's the arrogance. If y'all don't see that, I don't know. I can't help you. Yeah. My, I, my, I cannot help you. My problem you know, is I, that he is Bishop Clarence McClendon. Those of us that grew up in the church. We look at all of them, that whole crew, Bishop Neil Ellis, Kenneth Allman, yes. Eddie Long, they all started that fellowship. And it just, it's, it sort of is a letdown to us. Big time. Yeah, that, that's my, that is the thing. Because things. I have the, up. Oh, here it is. Here's the honest to God truth. Like you're saying, we grew up watching these guys. I mean, doing what they're called to do. And just, it seemed like back then that he was more sound. I don't know what happened over time, man. And, uh, and uh, I, have, I have the utmost respect for him. But when you go and take your pulpit and disrespect other people because they don't have the same political view as you, and you call them pimp preachers, you call them me a pimp preacher and everybody else. Yeah. And, I'm, and you think I'm going to sit back and let you do that? No, no. You know better than that, uh, Clarence McClendon. And, and nobody's going to sit back and just let you do that. Then you turn around and say, well, what did I say? You know exactly what you said. And so now when somebody call you out on it, you can't hide and tuck your tail. Then, then it's a whole mudslinging fest going on mm. at your church where you pulling up Roland Martin's path. Yeah. I'm saying, are you still a real preacher? What are you doing over there? Yeah. Did you see that, Larry? I, I just played it. There's 4,722 people listening to what you're saying right now. What the heck are you doing? doing bro just stop go talk to him like a man yeah. i'm about sick of all this foolishness man these preachers and i'm sick of it and i'm a preacher yeah. and i don't listen you got me though i don't even want to go to church <laughs> <laughs> i got church and if, 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 
Y'all making this look horrible. Yeah. 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 It's, it's just ridiculous, man. Well, thank you for well, taking my call. Everybody saying, say it louder, say it louder, because that's... Y'all know I will. Don't don't give me no amen call. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to listen, Larry. I'm trying my best to over here to be quiet and mind my own business. I but every know. time I go to social media, some foolishness <laughs> going on. You sound like your daddy. I'm exactly. <laughs> <laughs> every time I turn around, somebody's saying something stupid, they're supposed to be representing the church. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I, man, let me leave it alone. We, we have to do another uh, uh, yeah. interview, another live. We can okay? do that. We definitely can. All right. Thank you for taking the call. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. Peace, Bye-bye. y'all. Love y'all. Peace. All right. See, I think Diedrich is one of those who is for the future of the church. Let me-